so hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to install MB on Android 6.9.2 uh, so MB is a media plane uh, application like Plex uh, so we are going to install it so first of all what we need to do is we need to go to the apps tab inside apps tab on the search bar we need to search for MB So there are some couple of options that we can choose out of. So the one I'm going to choose is uh, the repository from Binhex. So there are other options as well like Linux servers and MB's own repository. But uh, the Binhex one is the one I'm going to go with. So what you need to do is uh, click install and you will be taken into this page. So in this page uh, normally you don't need to change anything. Uh, so as you can see here you can see the name of the container and the port number uh, for mbplex server the web interface port number and uh, as well as you can see the media path so by default it has uh, chosen our user share path so if i click here you can see all my share folders so if you want to specify you can just select the specific uh, folder where your media is located in my case, uh, my, all my media is con, uh, located inside Android Media Share. So I'm going to select that. So afterwards, uh, here you don't need to change these things. Uh, and that's all. You can just click Apply and Install. So for me, I will just going to rename this one for my personal preference. Uh, so let's rename it like this. And no need to change these things. If I expand you can see the update uh, location as well so this one also I'm just going to rename as my container name same as my container name and now those things you know it is not a must to change but if you like to uh, rename your containers as you want you can do those things and that's all click apply and you can select this if you want to start the container after the installation if not you can just unselect in my case I'm just going to unselect so that I can verify all the things are configured properly after the installation so click apply so it will take a couple of minutes to install so let's wait and see So as you can see the installation was uh, successfully executed and let's click done and if we go back to our docker tab you should be able to see the mb uh, application uh, located so now what we need to do is we need to start mb as i uncheck the automatic startup uh, it didn't start up automatically i'm going to manually start it up so it started it might take a couple of minutes to start because uh, currently my dockers are running on a hard drive so it might take a couple of minutes so let's uh, click uh, the MB icon and go to the web UI so as you can see it started and here uh, we are welcomed uh, with the a configuration page uh, startup configuration so here we will select the preferred language so in my case I will select English United States click next so the login username and password in my case I will give it as my name and a password to login into So if you have a uh, MB Connect account where you purchased your MB license, you can uh, add this uh, account as well uh, to get the full functionality of MB. If not, you can just leave it as it is and click next. So here we are uh, taken to the uh, library page. So here we need to add the libraries uh, for our media. So in my case, I will just add a, a library where just normal videos are located. So I will select show advanced options as well so here the content type so as I have music videos I'm going to select music videos the name will be music videos okay and the folder is located inside the share that we added so the name we need to find is the name which we just saw 
when we configured our MB server. So if we go back to our container, you can see uh, this is the location that the uh, MB uh, container is mapped, but the location that we see will be uh, named as slash media. So if we go back to MB, you can see the uh, slash MB media folder. You will select that and inside that you can see all the movie files and things that I have inside my share. So I'm going to select music video as I'm going to add a music video folder. And that's all for now uh, and click OK. So here we can select the uh, preferred metadata download language. Uh, so in my case, if there are any metadata, I want to you know, be it in uh, English language. So country, no need. Uh, preferred image language will be English as well if there are any images. Uh, enable real-time monitoring so what this does is whenever I update my libraries it will scan for them uh, in real time mm, that's all for now if you have uh, movies if you are going to add a movie uh, folder you can select the movie uh, container type at uh, the metadata downloader and that's all for now for me um, that's all yes and yes press ok so as you can see the music video library is added as well now i will just show you for as an example if you are going to add movies just click movies add the movie file from your library and do those same steps as before uh, instead here you can uh, also additionally you have the option to add the movie metadata so from the movie db or the uh, open movie database and you can uh, allow adult metadata as well uh, those kind of options are there video preview thumbnails where you can uh, have live previews uh, when you skip uh, the videos uh, in your library and open subtitle so those steps are here as well for, but for me for now i'm not going to add my movie library i'm just going to leave it as it is and i'm just going to add my music video and let's just click next so the preferred metadata language yeah it's okay uh, so if you want to access this uh, server remotely you can enable automatic port mapping but for me i don't need it uh, so i'm just going to click untick that one and click next accept the terms click next so now all the things are done so here they are telling us that we have the option to download the uh, mobile app uh, uh, it is available on Kodi, Roku and those other things as well as Google Play so you can watch your movies uh, from your mobile phone from anywhere in the world if you have a port forward if not in your local network so unlike Plex MB's mobile application is free to download and free to use as well for additional things only you need to purchase the license uh, so yeah that's all so let's click finish and we are taken to the login page i'm going to log in into my account using the password that i gave so as you can see the library that i added was music video and so inside that all the music videos are displayed so if i try to play something uh, let's just say i'm just going to mute for copyright reasons and let's just play something so you can see it's playing properly and works fine so additionally you can do additionally if you want to add the libraries that you didn't add before uh, you can go to your the dashboard settings and you can uh, edit these things so here you can uh, uh, go to libraries and add new libraries and you can see the existing libraries as well so transcoding uh, setups are also here and that's how you install so additionally all the stuff are there and i hope this video was very good for your content and consumption and this was a, a helpful video to you to download and install mb on your play, uh, android server also i will have a video linked on the top right corner for uh, an option where you can improve your transcoding or uh, help in transcoding in mb so thank you guys for watching and have a nice day subscribe my channel see you around